you wanted to be on the show with him. Uh, say hello to Iron Sheik and tell us why you wanted to be on with him. Iron Sheik, what's happening? I want to be on the show with the Iron Sheik because he and I are fighting for the same cause, and that is save Olympic wrestling. And Landsberg, before, before you take the time from me, I'm not just here to save Olympic wrestling. I'm here to save the Olympics, which cannot continue on without wrestling. It is the oldest, widest, most globally participated sport in the games, and removing it is the single most cowardly act on behalf of the IOC, and I know the Sheik agrees with me. Olympic Without wrestling, no more fun. Everybody know about toughest sport. Uh, and in the Olympic, the oldest sport was uh, Greco-Roman wrestling and freestyle wrestling. So without wrestling, Olympic uh, anymore doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, because I love wrestling. And I also, probably the reason is no more wrestling because um, WWE draw more people than Olympic wrestling. The challenge from the legend Iron Sheik. What do you have to say? The Sheik's challenge me. Listen, I, I, I would uh, I would accept his challenge just because it would be an honor. Look, Landsberg, instead of answering a question, I want to ask a question. I heard a story that the Iron Sheik was given a drug test when he was in the WWF. The test, they call him up and they say, Sheik, you tested positive, and the Sheik responded, positive? That's great. I need to know if that story's true. <laughs> Absolutely, Shelson, because <laughs> in, uh, my English was not too good that time. And the reason Apparently. I was happy, because positive always, people said, think positive, don't think negative. That's because sure. I thought, uh, I'm really positive, that means I'm good. And then Mr. McPen explained it to me, no, Sheik, positive, that means bad. And I get shocked. Everything changed after that. Perfectly uh, and, uh, reasonable. Do you, do you want to ask Chael about his positive test story? Yeah, how about you, Chael? <laughs> you had any positive <laughs> story? Yeah, Sheik, they call me up and they tell me, hey, Chael, your testosterone's too high. And I said, well, how high was it? And they said 0.7. I said, what's normal? They said 0.6. I said one-tenth. Retest that. You think Chael Sonnen's only one-tenth more macho than the average man? I said, feast your eyes and fantasize. And they said, you must not be guilty. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the, the um, Olympic wrestling. It is out for 2016. So what you guys are pushing for is a return in 2020. Uh, Sheik, he said that without wrestling, there is no Olympics. Do you, don't you think he's exaggerating a little bit? Well, uh, all intelligent wrestling fans around the world, they know uh, toughest sport in the world is the freestyle and Greco-Roman. And uh, Olympic without wrestling thousand, thousand years from Greece and uh, Rome to the Persia, which is my country, Iran, Persia, wrestling was always big tradition. And wrestling was the number one sport in the Olympic. No I love songs, no wrestling. I will fight a France and I will stick a fist up their ass if they don't approve the games. <laughs> and before we wrap this up, by the way, uh, Well Expressed, why don't you take the next couple and of seconds. And the Sheik's going with me. Are you going with him? Well, absolutely, because NFC never died, and everybody knew the really Olympic without wrestling is no more fun like before. Now I should talk to you, uh, Chelsea. You talk and you walk. That's why I respect you. But uh, still, Aaron Sheik have an AAU champion <laughs> and a Hall of Fame and gold medal. You wish some had it. But I respect you and have a good day. <laughs>